It's hot. Well, at my favorite break place. And we had a good story today. My aunt and uncle are touring the Harley plant, I think. I'm at work today. I only could get Sunday and Tuesday off because I switched with somebody. So we'll see them off tomorrow on their way out of here. And uh, oh, the weather has gone straight from not so springy weather right into summer so yeah it's pretty warm right now it's summertime makes you wonder where spring went well the weather has changed it's uh, starting to rain and it, by the rate of the way the things have been blowing it's gonna blow up something here and uh, we're under a tornado Oof. that's not good tornado watch and the storms are just racing north so it's been crazy all day it's been crazy all week I mean not weather wise but otherwise uh, our guests my aunt and uncle have uh, they left yesterday and Today is my Friday, ready to begin another week next week. More fun. Woohoo! But yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Might get interesting. Yeah, just got home after. Uh, I had a rough day. Rough day. So I did some exploring, soul searching. And on the way home, I saw a guy uh, trying to get across Broadway Bridge, and uh, he cut the, uh, probably didn't realize there was a curb, which is kind of dangerous, sort of invisible in the middle, and he hit it with one of his tires, and I guess it broke the bead. I could hear a big, tsh I was like, uh-oh, somebody, sounds like somebody lost the ear in their tire. And His blinkers came on and he stopped in the in the fast lane on the entrance to Broadway Bridge and I you know, like, oh, he's gonna get killed if he stays there so I pulled up behind him you know and I'm, I'm you know I'm grateful I had a, an opportunity to help somebody tonight and pulled up behind him and was looking for my blinkers I guess I'm not used to seeing where my blinkers are in my car and and some guy in a big Lincoln a young guy was right up on our ass. I was hoping he would kind of help block so I could get this guy to get across because there was a nice area, big area where he could uh, pull over. And um, I was trying to move in such a way that I could block for this guy so we could get across. And this guy in the Lincoln just ripped around both of us and he said, get that blah blah off the road, you know, expletive. And I'm like, yeah, man. Continue on US 169 North for four miles. situation is in this poor guy's life that has made him so angry in an emergency situation like that I hope he can get it sorted out and find his peace because I don't know I don't know if he realized it but he, he came across as pure evil tonight and um, you know I got the guy across a young guy and you know, unfortunately he's got to take a long trip tomorrow and he had a um, one of those donut things in the back of his car, you know, and he changed the tire. And 
I wasn't much help for the first part and then I was helpful for a little bit of the last part helping him change his tire and then shook hands wished him luck and we were both took off so forgot the uh, the storms didn't really pan out they just petered out in our area and uh, most of the severe stuff was up in Iowa too far away to uh, go antiquing so hee <laughs> hee